and welcome to Supergrads Cat. Today we have with us one of the Cat 2023 exam toppers, Mr. Chitranchi Gupta, who has scored a fabulous 99.68 percentile. So welcome, Chitranchi. Thank you, sir. So let's hear from us uh, as far as her journey goes when it comes to the Cat preparation. Uh, so Chitranchi, tell us uh, what was your journey for Cat 2023 like? Um, it was a road full of ups and downs. Uh, frankly, when I speak, uh, as uh, as Sir mentioned, uh, I never pictured myself as a topper. I only uh, worked for CAT as diligently as I could. Uh, coming to the percentile, I never predicted that uh, I would be in a 99 percentile club. Uh, but uh, it was something that I always wanted to work for. And... Uh, I actually faced very many difficulties with a particular section when I uh, when what it comes to which was the section that you faced a lot of difficulties with. So VARC. Okay. Uh, so basically, I never understood why I was very bad at, uh, very miserable at VARC. I uh, never thought that my English would be so worse. And what is the actual CAT 23 percentile in VRC that you've got? It is 99.33 percentile, which is very shocking for me. Uh, because Galti se aage? <laughs> nice, sir. Uh, when I reflect on my VRC pre preparation, it was uh, very, uh, uh, it was something that uh, took a lot uh, of me. And uh, since I knew that I had to do well in this particular section, so I worked really hard for it. Probably 70% of my uh, CAT preparation was only dedicated to VRC. Uh, I thought QA was uh, more of my forte, mm -hmm. so I prepared for it. Tell us uh, your educational background, what have you done in uh, terms of education and graduation? Uh, okay, so uh, in 12th, uh, I had commerce mm -hmm. and uh, graduation. Uh, for graduation, I uh, am a BCom honors graduate from Vikram University, Ujjain. Uh, and uh, in CAT, uh, QA. Uh, so QA yes. was your forte. So QA uh, was uh, something that I thought that yes, this is my strength. I can uh, work in it and score well so that my overall uh, score increases from uh, uh, from the QA section. But something very opposite happened with me because uh, I always thought that in VARC I'll have to work work till the sectional cutoff. Mm -hmm. Uh, whereas I scored more in VRC and less in QA because this year's QA was uh, really tough for me. All right, doesn't matter. Tell us uh, your experience of Supercats. Uh, I think in some of the Supercats you were able to win some rewards as well. By the way, Supercats is uh, touted to be India's most relevant and difficult test series when it comes to the cat testing environment. So I think you appeared for a lot of Supercats this year. And uh, yes, what was your experience like? So for Supercats, I would say that it is the most relevant test. Uh, till date that I have taken and uh, I would surely uh, recommend it to all the cat aspirants uh, uh, out there because uh, in super cat you know you get the whole package the complete package for VARC uh, their RCs and their questions are so good that it gives you a very uh, good preparation uh, for that particular section uh, and as I mentioned earlier I really struggled in VRC so when I scored more in the RC section in the super cats knowing that this is actually tough so it was such a motivating force that uh, okay I can do well in this section uh, right. which was it was like uh, it was motivating me to do even more uh, and uh, try new things, try new strategies in the super cats. And uh, uh, we were given a, a series of 10 super cats. Correct. And I experimented two to three strategies in those 10 uh, super cats. Um, and uh, yes, so coming to rewards, uh, I won two rewards. Uh, I had. Are rewards a kind of motivation? Uh, should, should we continue on this uh, strategy Surely for rewards? Sir. Sure. What kind of an impact do rewards have as an aspirant? Uh, sir, I would say that rewards are one thing that is a very tangible factor to your preparation. Right. Like if you win that reward, you have actually uh, earned it on your own hard work. Correct. Uh, so and and the fact that you are earning something. Correct. It means very much. Uh, As a student, if you are able to earn some amount of money and are able to share it with your family, friends, close ones. In fact, even if you don't share, the in internal satisfaction that you get yes. probably would be something that uh, would make you yes. really happy and proud. Uh, when I won uh, the f uh, the first prize in our Supercat, in Supercat 3, uh, I remember, 
I remember that uh, sharing it with my mother that right. I won three thousand rupees cash prize. Uh, it was very, uh, it was a emotional, very emotional. Yes, very emotional it, right? moment for me because uh, at that point of time I was taking a test and uh, earning something. So it meant a lot for me and uh, for my mother as well. <laughs> All right. Uh, I very quickly, I want you to give one tip for DLR section that you feel will be very useful for CAT 24 aspirants and one tip for QA section because you already covered VRC. Yes. So one tip that you think will work. Uh, uh, the utmost important tip uh, for all the CAT takers out there in DILR section is to trust yourself. Uh, see, in CAT DILR section, this section is so vast. It's full of uh, comprehending complicated sets and all uh, that at times when, when we feel uh, that we have uh, covered a lot of mm. sets, but still we aren't able to figure out new things in a new set. Correct. So we feel a kind of... How many of sets did you attempt in CAT 23 this time around? Two. Two sets. Yes. And uh, what was your percentile? Uh, in DILR section it was 97.77%. And what was the uh, number of uh, correct attempts and uh, incorrect attempts? Yes, so uh, actually I attempted two sets and uh, out of them one set was entirely correct and in one set I had three incorrect and two correct. But the uh, best thing that happened with me was that out of three incorrect, only one was uh, of negative mark. Right. So one was so, MCQ rest for theta. Yes. So high level of accuracy, uh, uh, if you are able to maintain that kind of accuracy, picking two sets, getting one set right, getting the second set partially right can uh, easily fetch you 97 plus percentile in CAT. Uh, yes. Any tip for QA? Uh, for QA, I would uh, say that uh, cover uh, a, a greater amount of uh, syllabus because you never know mm -hmm. what cat is going to ask. Correct. Now, if you go by the strategy that only prepare arithmetic, mm. leave out algebra. Right. This year, uh, this year's cat paper for QA would be a very shocking uh, experience for those people Correct. who choose a but particular area. But I think thankfully area. in super cats we had tons and tons of yes. questions in L from the algebra section as well. Yes. So I think that would have helped a yes. lot. Yes, it helped. And uh, uh, also that uh, in QA, do not worry that uh, you are, uh, you have a very weak mathematical uh, brain. Don't have any such pre-assumptions uh, like that. Because I've seen a lot of uh, uh, co-students with, with me uh, who always thought that Maths weak hai. Hmm. Maths weak hai. Aisa nahi hai. Because uh, maths ke saath ek bhoot achhi cheez ye hoti hai ki uh, when you get the answer you are 100% sure that this Correct. is the answer I am getting 3 marks over here. So in mathematics, in QA, they are testing more of your aptitude rather than your uh, subject knowledge. knowledge. Yes, yeah. knowledge. Uh, so bhoot sari questions to aise hoti hai uh, where we are able to solve it without Correct. any uh, uh, pre-existing knowledge about it and uh, QA is one of the very uh, good section in CAT uh, and uh, as I mentioned sir, uh, it was I, I considered it to be my strength mm -hmm. because there is a predictability in QA right. and an unpredictability in VRC. Right. So QA was always uh, close to my heart. Uh, still, I was only able to uh, get nine questions correct out of uh, the paper in the QA paper. Still, I managed to get a uh, 98.83%. Fabulous. Right. I mean, uh, attempting just nine questions in single digits and still able to achieve such a fabulous percentile. A really inspiring journey of Chitranshi and I hope this uh, journey inspires you as well to make sure that you take on uh, CAT 2024 or maybe CAT 2025 and uh, take it as a challenge and uh, fetch a fabulous percentile. We wish Chitranshi to get uh, the choice of our IAMs. Good luck for that Thanks and we'll so take much, it. Sir. Thank you everyone. Ciao.